So here we got Batman who's in this gray and black outfit. You can see he has the classic you know, yellow and black Batman logo and definitely a very nice utility belt and he definitely has the same great detail as he had on the previous Batman which is the Detective Batman which they're basically the same mold. This Batman is strictly a repaint. He doesn't come with any accessories like the first one um, but still a, a great Batman with a very nice uh, rubber cape. For articulation, Batman's head can rotate 360 degrees as well as go up and down. His arms can rotate 360 degrees as well as go in and out. They bend at the elbow, rotate 360 degrees at the elbow. Uh, his wrist can rotate 360 degrees. His abs can go forward and back. And 360 degrees of waist articulation. His legs can go forward and back, in and out. Bend at the knee, rotate 360 degrees at the knee. His feet can uh, uh, pivot forward and back. Oh no, Batman's the bad signal is on. You need to save Gotham City from Two-Face, but at the same time, Catwoman wants to give you a special grooming session. Which Batman is going to save Gotham City? Which Batman is going to have special kitty time with Catwoman? Hey guys, I can help you flip a coin. Size comparison time. So here you can see that all the DC Universe classics are great scale with each other. Uh, Catwoman being the shortest and Batman and Two-Face being the tallest. Well, now if you love the DC Universe classics Detective Batman, you know what you're getting with this. Fortunately, this one doesn't have any accessories, but he comes in a five pack, so you know what you're going to do. But if you like the classic black and gray Batman over the classic gray, blue, and black Batman, then you'll definitely enjoy this version of Batman even better in the color scheme. It's definitely a worthy repaint, and definitely it's Batman. Why wouldn't you get Batman? <laughs>